Hello, everybody, and welcome to the <laughs> SNM like, show. I like the way, wait, wait, wait. I like the way you like pause, and then you like get into it. Like you have to like put on your like podcast. Yeah, I gotta, voice. I gotta psych myself up. It's like playing a football game. It's like oh. being a, a fo- football game. Plus, I'm just like all amped up right now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the SNM show, broadcasting from not the home of the comic book friend. No, Min Chen's home. Not Jane Sound Bob's secret stash. We are at the Asbury Fest Hall and Beer Garden. Which has been your your pretty much house for the past week. Oh for sure. Yeah. For sure. This is uh this is a place that just opened up I think uh about I don't know about four or five months ago in February. Yeah. And it is a legit hardcore German style beer garden in the heart of Asbury Park. It and okay, okay, so German, like beer wise, food wise, yes. yes. German looks wise, no. No, it's well, a very. Oh, so you've been to Germany? It, no, but it's like very industrial modern instead of like, you know, when you think of like, uh, uh, there's like a, a German bar I go to in Philly and okay. it's all like old and covered with like steins and like, you know, there's weird shit up on the walls. Like you walk in here, it's very industrial modern looking. Okay. So, I mean, like, I, I could see like the beer I hall aspects with I, like. I, with like the big open spaces and the tables the way they are um because we're sitting at like basically uh wooden tables with benches yes we are um so i see all that but like the walls you know there's no german flag there's not like a lot of german pride that i'm getting yes but you know what they do have here german beer right here an american wine an american wine (laughs) yes uh i am drinking uh cheers my friend Thank you, uh, thank you for coming me, joining me at my second home here. Yes. I, I really Ooh. have. So last weekend, it's fruity. Last weekend, I came here four times. Now yeah. you're saying there are only three days in a weekend. How were you here four times? Well, I came back twice on Friday night. So it's, it's your poor wife. I told, I told somebody. I, I forget, like a friend of mine. I said, like, oh, Ming's at the the beer garden again. Mm-hmm. And they were like, his wife must yes. be a saint. And my I was like, oh, da- I was like, oh, Debbie. Yeah, we pray for her all the time. Yes, my wife is a saint. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> and here I am at the beer garden. Uh, again. My wife is a saint. Yeah. Um, again. 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 So thank you for commenting me. Uh, those jerks from Tell Him Steve Dave took over our usual podcast. Set. Yeah. Well. So you know. Yeah. We're technically not supposed to be podcasting today. Why? Why not? We well, can podcast like day. I, I, I don't I hesitate to think that there are days <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that we have taken that over. they're organized yeah that they're organized at all <laughs> they haven't released an episode in like three or four weeks there's almost a riot so I'm a nice guy I'm a nice guy oh, it's so I, def- I defer to them so so it's it's good to have you joining me here at my second home and and you know less less you think that we're just kind of invading here I did ask for permission so I do want to thank two people. I want to thank my dear friend Jennifer Lampert, who is uh, one of the uh, co uh, co partners, co owners of this place, and uh, along with her partner Yaro. Yaro is like this hardcore. I believe he's like uh, like from Slovakia or or Slovenian, or he's hardcore from Europe. So, and they have uh, I have the we have the menu here. They have like a million import. They have a million beers, German beers on tap. They have, look at look at this. This is ridiculous. It's not quite a million. It's pretty good. They have Pilsner Rokel. They have Dab. They have Steigl. They have Mozart's favorite beer here. Like you know, come on. You can't Mozart. deny that. Shit. You I mean, can't deny God. that. So st- I, I I remember the last time I was sitting at a bar yes. and Mozart was sitting like three seats down from me and he looked like he was having a good time. So I turned to the bartender and I was like, I'm gonna have what that guy's having. Yes. So I'm glad that I could have it again. All right. Could he hear you? Didn't he go? No, wait. It was Beethoven that went down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Two two musical geniuses. Yeah, I imagine they would be. I imagine them like being in a place very similar. So, to this. so I come to a uh, German beer garden. And I drink red wine. Yeah. Well, you're in training, correct? Is that yes, why you're not I drinking actually, beer? Yes. I actually, I don't drink beer when I train, which is weird because beer actually is carbs, which sure. is better for training, and wine is sugar, which is sure. not as good for training. Uh, but in my head, I have these like hard and fast rules that don't make any sense. Okay. Well, complex carbohydrates versus simple carbohydrates. Sure. Yeah. So um. So I have these like hard and fast rules that I abide by, and one <laughs> of them is not drinking beer when I'm podcast okay. or when I'm. You're, you're training, training for a marathon in October, so you're not going to drink for three months, mm-hmm. over three months. Yeah. Drink beer. Drink wine beer. Is okay. I'll, dr- I'll like get drunk on wine. Okay. So. All right. Good. Know. Good enough. I mean, you know, my birthday is, is w- going to be wine. Good enough. And you know, you know, you know my philosophy on podcasting: do it anywhere, do it everywhere, do it all the time. Now, now you brought up that that I'm running a marathon yes. on the 18th, okay. but 
I believe I have a partner in crime with me that mm-hmm. day. Yeah, me. Yeah, when, when are you going to start training for it? I've been training. I've been running. <laughs> I think I've been running almost as much as you have. Yeah, uh, I ran 10 miles last week in one shot. You did? No, I didn't do it together. But you, you drove like 20 minutes down the road and then you ran the extra three. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, the other day I ran uh, I ran a five-mile race. There you and go. And then I ran another three miles with another running group. Now you're asking, why would I do this? You know, were there females involved? Of course well, there were. Yes, sort of. Of course there were. Yeah. Shit. When you said you were running Homedale, I'm like, I am not even envious of that run. I fucking hate uh, that run. Uh, there's a nearby park, and they have this thing called the bowl. And then what the bowl is, it goes down... And then it goes back up. That's really kind of, steep up. It's not that bad. Yeah, no, it, it, it bad. really is. It ain't that bad. My, no. uh, my ex-boyfriend, he ran cross-country, yes. we run track, yeah. um, and they had a shirt that said, you know, like, I smoked the bowl. Oh, okay. And at this Home was Del a, Park. And, and this was cool with the school, because you know yeah. schools now yeah. would be like, now, oh, no. Oh, yeah, nowadays it would that. be like, you can't, that's, that's referencing marijuana. Yes, yeah. drugs. Yeah. Drugs, you can't. You, you can't, can't say no. that. But yeah. we, yeah, it was it was funny because he said that his um his track team and his cross country team actually like had a lot of like very like explicit shirts mm-hmm. that like had innuendos in them, sure. and he couldn't remember any of the other ones. But I smoked the bowl was one of them. I like that. Yeah. I like, well, I smoked a bowl the other day, meaning I ran it. Oh, I was the say. And I know. Make he, Chen. I, yeah, and I know. Oh no, no, I don't do that. I don't. I'm not really into pot. I'm not really into weed. Why? I. I mean, I I'm not know. into weed either. I I've never smoked in my life. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and, and uh, yeah. And you're also a virgin. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're all, you're also. And a I've virgin. never drank alcohol in my life. Yeah. I you know um, speaking of PC and you know being too uh, you know being uptight and well um I wanted to know your opinion on this whole Confederate flag issue mm. and more specifically the Dukes of Hazard uh, being pulled from the air because they featured the Confederate flag on top of the General Lee uh, the toy companies pulling the General Lee toys from the shelf because it features a Confederate flag on the roof of the uh, the car. Okay, okay. so here's my, my thought What's process What's your opinion on that? on that? So, technically, and I'm a history major, you and are? the Civil War is my favorite war in history. Um, really? Mm-hmm. What, brother versus brother? I don't know. There was just something, like, very honorable about it. I mean, I, I generally think that war is the way they used to be fought, like the American Revolution. Sure. You know, I think wars used to be a little more honorable. I definitely think they used to be fucking stupid. Like, I'm going to line up, and I'm going to shoot at you, and then you're going to shoot at me, and then I'm going to shoot at you. Like, it was definitely, like, mass graves, sure. you know. But I think that there was an honor, I think, in the Civil War... Um, you had a lot of really great men fighting that on both sides. Sure. And I think there's a lot to be learned from their war strategies, the, the way they did things, the way they commanded their men. You know, the same way people, you know, study study General Patton as a great war hero. Okay. Um, although he, it's more accepted when you study Patton because he was an ally, like sure. he fought on the side of good, as opposed to when you study Robert E. Lee, right. because technically he was a dirty, vicious traitor. Um he was fighting for what he thought he was, was his half of the country. For, yeah, he was fighting for his where he came from. So, you know, a, a traitor to whom. Um, my view on the Confederate flag is, I don't know why it was at the Capitol in, um, where was it, South Carolina? Yeah. Uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. I don't know why it was there. Like, you know, like what the importance of it was to actually still just be flying there. Right. Do I think it needed to be taken down there? Eh, I really could care less about that. You know, obviously they did it as, like, a sign. Um, but, like, taking it off of things like the Dukes of Hazard and really, like, throwing it in the air. Like, I've heard talk of people, you know, saying that they want to take down the statues of Robert E. Lee. Right. So those are all over the country. Like, not all over the country, but you have them in Washington, D.C. You have sure. them in, like, Arlington. You sure. know, he, for all intents and purposes, was a great general. He led his men honorably and... People should study what he did when he was a general, when he was fighting, you know. The same way the Confederate flag is a part of history. General Lee, uh, Robert E. Lee, is a part of history. You know, you can't erase history. No. And you can't take something that some stupid kid did and make it commandment and make it, you know, the way. Right. You know, he killed those people because he's a fucking lunatic. uh, Yeah, let's uh, let's rewind. This is all sparked by the kid who killed... uh, Nine. Nine people in the uh, the African American church. Yeah, and um, like he didn't do it because of a Confederate flag. He did it because he's a fucking ignorant racist. Yes, exactly. you know, like 
he can and blame it on whatever. That. Yeah. We all know that. There but, like, the media blows things out of proportion. Right. I mean, that's what the media is good at. That's, yeah, that's, that's what they're here oh, for. That's, that's pretty much their job, I think. Yeah. Yes. And I, I feel like, you know, now you're taking away bits of history. Now you're taking away, you know, parts of pop culture. Sure. And that's wrong because those things had nothing to do with it. You know, a- anybody who's watched The Deuce of Hazard, is there, you know, anything that's seriously racist about that? I don't think they, I don't think there's anything racist no. about it. I think, like the title song says, just the good old boys never meaning no harm. It's like, in the it's in the yeah, first two like, seconds I mean, of the show. You know, it's it's like basically a parody of rednecks. It, yeah, it really is. So like you know, and and uh, I don't know I, the the whole premise is so stupid. I don't even know if you know the premise. You know, most people just know them as driving around. There's Roscoe P. Coltrane. They jump the car. They get into the whole premise of the show where the Duke boys were running moonshine. Yeah, they got caught, and their punishment was they couldn't leave Hazard County. That was it. <laughs> that was that was that was the whole <laughs> no, premise, and that. that's why they were. And then you know, so they were just getting into scuffles around Hazard County, get chased by the local sheriff, and then you know something would happen, they would get away, and then all was forgiven until the next time they got into some stupid yeah, scuffle. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's the media blowing shit out of proportion, yeah. and and you know people like feed on that. Right. People people want something to rally against. Right. And you know, right now it's the Confederate flag yeah. instead of like maybe I don't even know assholes with no brains yes so it's awful yeah it's awful it, like i said the the part that hurt me the most was you know people are trying to to amend it the history so that you know the civil war never happened like let's not talk about it let's not talk about these people that yeah. were no, like I mean. you know <laughs> that's a whole part of history it's a whole part of american right. history that's like a very big old fucking chunk of the world right there so it is all right so um you know i uh, i don't disagree with the flag being removed it is a symbolism of slavery they were fighting for slaves too. well i mean i mean right and to, to be slaves. fair like the confederate flag yes it is technically like a traitorous mark you know that sure. was that was their flag but right. at the same time that was their flag like it's a fucking flag yeah you know like i don't think the confederate <laughs> well, flag these days means like hey are, we're gonna rally against america i think uh, the confederate oh, flag means mostly that we're just fucking rednecks there's that some people who who, who wave that flag people. in that in that in the belief that the South will rise again. Well, I and mean, that slavery, I, I'm they pretty, want slavery I'm, I'm to come back. I'm pretty convinced the fucking South is still fighting the Civil War. Uh, all the South? The whole <laughs> yeah, South? Yeah, they're just still fighting. All right. And Texas is just, like, you know, fighting its own war against everyone else. All right. All right. Um, can I bring up a funny story that happened yesterday? Yes. Okay. So, you know, we're shooting season five of Comic Book Men. Mm-hmm. And uh, yesterday we took a little road trip. Um, about two hours away, I had to go to New York. Now, uh, usually when these road trips, we get driven up in a van. Me, Brian, Mike, Walt. The same van. And uh, one of the production assistants. Or the, we have a driver. We got, have a driver. Oh, yeah, production assistants. Yes. Who drives us in a, they were driving us in a minivan. Yeah. So I'm sitting in the front seat. Walt, Mike, and Brian are in the back. We're chilling out. We're going on this, you know, two-hour ride. Now we're heading up. Uh, we have satellite radio in there. I'm in the passenger seat. I set the music. I'm going to set the tone. I'm going to set the music. What do I love more than anything else in life? Old school hip hop. Tribe Called Quest, Run DMC, Public Enemy, Little NWA, Little Jungle Brothers, you know, things like that. Naughty by Nature, things like that. So, you know, I'm rolling that. So we go up, we're driving. Uh, about an hour into the trip, we stop off at a rest area. We all get out, do our business. We come back, and Walt decides to hop into somebody else's car. <laughs> And we're like, well, what, what's what's going on? Why are you, you know, what, you don't want to ride with us? It's like, yeah, I couldn't stand all the hip hop. I couldn't yeah. take all the hip hop. I, I can imagine. I want to, I want to, ro- I want to roll in another car. I'm like, all right. I, I can imagine well, that. Well, I mean, you could have, you, you could have asked me to change the station. It's well within your. I would have changed it for you. You know, I, you know, I, I get an hour. You get the next hour. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty laid back. I'm not like, uh, you know, don't touch my radio. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not that strict on that. He couldn't stand the old school hip hop, so he had to go and physically switch. He had cars. to literally run away from you. Yeah. Now here's, here's the rub. Maybe the monkey wrench. Uh, the guy driving us up, um, uh, dude named Remy, guy we've been working with for five years. Remy, that's awesome. like my favorite name. Is it? Yeah. It, it like really Probably is. Probably the coolest guy on the whole crew. Um, doesn't say a lot. It doesn't say a lot. Is he sexy? Very, very much. I was, so. was just saying the good name look, Remy is kind of look, like a sexy name. Good looking dude. Uh, hard working dude and. Uh, Man, a few words, very like cool though, cool as anything. Um, Remy happens to be African American, so so 
Walt was counting on me not to say why he didn't want to ride with us as we continued in fears of offending Remy. But that was, and, and he was hoping that I would be like, oh, no, he was feeling car sick in the back, or maybe not even say why he left. In, in and of course, of, of course, you like in, sold him out. Oh, within the first second. Within the first second of getting in the car, I was like, yeah, Walt didn't want to ride with us. He couldn't stand all the hip hop. And I, not, and, and you know, I, I didn't think anything of it because I set the station. It wasn't yeah. him. It had nothing to do with yeah. him. I set the station. I love old school hip hop. So, so did like Remy and Walt have like an altercation? No, not at all. Oh. Not at all. There were, nothing was said of it. But, oh. but Walt You mean was to like, sound like, like Remy was going to, like, man of few words was going to be like, well, fuck Walt. No, not at all. But, uh, I, but I didn't think anything of it. And Walt was like, well, I was counting on you not to sell me out, and you did it within the first two seconds. And I'm like, well, what would, Walt, have, what would have been funnier though is if like you just hopped back in the van and was like, Walt doesn't want to drive with us back because he hates black people. That wouldn't have been funny at all. No, that would have been horrible. No, it would have been funny at all. <laughs> that would have been horrible. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I, I, I'm like, well, if you didn't count on me to sell you on the first two seconds, you don't know me very well at all. Right. That's all I'm saying. That's 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 all I'm saying. Anyways, that's uh, yeah. So. I just thought it was funny that he couldn't stand, like, run DMC so much that he had to go and drive in another car. And the guy he drove up with is probably as white bread as all get out, so... He told me they were listening to Elton John on the way up. Okay, like, to, to be fair, like, yes. I don't I don't really like old school hip-hop. I really don't like any hip-hop, so I probably would have been in the same... Friends? I don't know. I would have been in the same boat with Walt. You I would have, like, like abandoned well, Chip Town. you not like old school hip-hop? You don't like Tribe Called Quest? No, no. Run DMC, Public no, Enemy, really. and NWA Straight Outta... I'm counting on you to go to Straight Outta Compton with me when it comes out in a month. The, the NWA documentary. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. The biopic. You'll go to NWA with me? Definitely. Go to Straight Outta Compton? Yeah. You will see why this music is so great. Listen, I listen to, like, film scores when I'm driving in my car. I know, but that like, doesn't mean, Waltz like, would probably hate driving with me. I, I can't really say... Well, that's not true. I was going to say, I can't really say I, I, there's a genre of music I could say I hate. Like, country, I don't really like. I'll, I'll, I, I've been listening to more country lately. Do you like country? A little bit. I, Depends on how country it is. I was never really into country, and then I think, um, like, I think it was a Brooks and Dunn song. Garth Brooks and I don't know who the Dunn guy is. They did a song called "Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy." Yeah, you ever heard that song? Yeah, I've heard it. Great, it's probably it's, my favorite. It's like the fucking anthem of drunk girls in cowboy hats at cowboy bars. I love that song. Yeah, and you that's would. Like, I could, I could, I could get into. You this would. Song. I could get into the song. Oh, Jesus. It has a great message. I, I can totally get into that song. So. And then, um, uh, what is that? Uh, Patsy Cline? Does that count as country? Like, I Fall to Pieces. Crazy. Those are great songs. Does those, do those count as country anthems? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Anyway, speaking of music, though. Uh, you, so, somebody asked how season six was coming along. Uh, it's going great. Do you have a time phone for uh, <laughs> right? or a time machine? <laughs> right. Because like, uh, if you do, please tell me it's going great. Se- season six, yeah. man. Woo. Wow. Maybe it's from the future. Maybe. Yeah. Well, speaking of music, you brought up an excellent podcast topic. So, so yeah. Okay. So my excellent, podcast topic podcast was, topic. Um, I actually don't even know how we got started on okay. it. Um, it. It was a song that came on on my Spotify, definitely. And my boyfriend and I were driving from West Orange. Um, actually, we probably were already home and okay. we were driving um, to the boardwalk because okay. we decided to go to the boardwalk for the okay. night. And whatever song came on okay. brought up whether or not a remake could be better than the original. Now, I okay. posted it on Facebook, and of course everyone jumped in with films. Sure. Not where I was oh, going Oh, movies, with it. like which remake movies are better than yeah, the original. Yeah, exactly. So, um, topic for another podcast. We were concentrating on well, music. Well, I was going right to say, now. topic for like 20 minutes when we get to something else. Okay, sure. So, I meant, and, and I posed it with... Um, what me, prompted this? this is, did a song come on the radio? Yeah, a song came on my Spotify. Okay. I'm not sure which one. And I said, I probably, like, I like this more than the original. Oh, it was something about the Beatles. That's what it was. Okay. And we were talking about if a Beatles remake could be better than the original. And uh, believe me, I love the Beatles right. as much as the next sure. guy. I mean, like, who doesn't? But some of their songs are just fucking dumb. Example? Like, I want to hold your hand. Like, Great. it's got a stupid oh fucking God. beat. Like, uh, no, just, I, I, it's one of the greatest Beatles no, songs recorded. No, it's one of it's the just, greatest, simple, but like, I'm it was just saying, the 60s. you know, they have, they have a that. lot of songs that are just, you know, them Why? simply singing, <laughs> simple lyrics, yes. and it's just, sometimes it's a little mind-numbingly You're, not complicated enough. And it, it was the early 60s where, you know, uh, it wasn't quite free love. 
but it was the beginning of the British invasion, and it has like what a two minute well, song, which gets straight to the point. Well, so the thing that the thing that brought it up was was it's, a song from across the universe came on. Oh, that's which, a amazing song. Exactly. So. I like a lot of the versions from across the universe. Uh, we made probably about 50 times. Yeah, but. exactly. So the one I brought up in particular was Across the Universe. Okay. The song Across the Universe. Yeah. Um, Jai Guru, Dave, Yeah, Aum. exactly. So in the Nothing's movie... Nothing's going to change my yeah, world. In the movie Across the Universe, I like it better than the original. I also like the Fiona Apple one that she did for Pleasantville better. That is great. I just don't like the original. I don't think they did it well enough. You know, I, I think like I think they're amazing. I listen okay. to it. I like her right. take on it. I like the movie's take on it. Okay. So we got into this very heated debate. Okay. Which actually kind of turned How into heated? a fight. Physical? Physical? No, no, no. You it, guys start it, slapping it, each it, other it, like. <laughs> it went from like a debate to like a hardcore fight about whether or not the remake could be better than the original. So and my my whole thing was um, my like I, I thought this was like the fucking whammy card right here. Okay. My whammy card was. Um, Leonard Cohen versus Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah. There's not a single person in this world that likes Leonard Cohen's version better. I would actually go as far to say Rufus Wainwright's is also better than the original. I don't know a single person that thinks that Leonard Cohen did it best. I would totally, I would agree with that. So that was like my trump card. And Alex's argument was that the remake, well, it could be more enjoyable to listen to okay. you can never consider it a better song because it wouldn't exist without the first one okay so so he I, tried to yeah. he tried to he tried to clarify this um let me let me get to this message he said I, further and this is my boyfriend speaking okay, yes. for the record as this okay. has gotten out of hand i never meant my statement to be a mandate on taste or subjectivity okay. i was only making the case that without the source there is no remake argument subjectivity okay. debate but, et cetera, uh, you know and i love your boyfriend i like him a lot but that has no bearing on whether or not it could be better or so not. So I feel like we were kind of arguing two different points here. So, like, his point was, like, a complete, like, he was just stating the fact that, yes, you could not have the remake without the original. My fact was that as good as the original could be, yes. sometimes even the fact that this, the remake couldn't, like, uh, exist without it... Yes. It doesn't like, mean has like, no bearing on the remake whether or is not. still better despite that fact. Yes, like, exactly. I, nobody listens to Leonard Cohen's version of Hallelujah. Like right. show of hands, like nobody listens to it. Everyone likes Jeff Buckley's better. Uh, I, I would I would say I don't know about nobody, but I would say it would be like a ninety five five split. So um, so we could look it up. Yeah. Um, and this is a, and so in the car um, after I brought up Cohen versus Buckley. Right. Obviously, other people commented on. Um, Hendrix version of All Along the Watchtower This is over Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan. Um, Nobody likes Bob Dylan's better. I disagree, but I think I that's... I could probably go throughout this entire bar and like God, 75, wish, 75% of people... I wish there was somebody we could pull here. You, 75% you know, you're, you're of people right. would say Jimi Hendrix. Like we could literally maybe 20, start pulling people. 20 would, say, 20 would say Dylan and maybe like five wouldn't actually even know who the fuck either one of them were. <laughs> I, I, I say that's almost impossible, but okay. Yeah, well, okay. song remakes. Yeah, uh, better, I mean, yeah, I mean, original. good. The words "good" and "better" are all relative. Agreed. So yeah. you you will meet you will meet you know you can't say nobody, but yeah, I'm, I'm, if we're going with majority rules, sure, for sure. Uh, so let's say so. I'm on this list okay. on businessinsider.com. Okay. It just was you know one is that wasn't there, fifty and more than ten, so seventeen. Okay. Number seventeen is Jeff Buckley's cover of Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. 16 is Sonic Youth's cover of Superstar, first recorded by Delaney and Bonnie, uh, and then by the Carpenters. Oh, God, the, the, the Carpenters version is I was going to say, the Carpenters version is amazing. Yes. So. Um, yeah, also, I think uh, I think Wilco did a cover of it, too. So. Uh, Galaxy 500's cover of Listen, the Snow is Falling by John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Yeah. Um, um, how about yeah, how about the Fuji? Are you a Fuji's fan? Going back to hip-hop, you know, uh, what's that song, uh, you know? Strumming my pain with this finger. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of it. Uh, Killing uh, Me Softly yeah, versus Killing Roberto Softly Flack. Thing, yeah. I mean, that's that's debate. That's uh, uh, you know, Roberto Flack. And, is and my boyfriend good. even brought this up. Manfred Mann's cover of Bruce Springsteen's "Blinded by the Light." Sure. Like everybody hates Springsteen's version right. of it. Although um, he did, yeah, just because he wrote it, 
Just because you wrote and performed it doesn't mean it's Johnny better, Cash's so. cover of Hurt by Nine Inch Nails. Uh, that's also debatable. That's um, also debatable. I'll say that was a little more debatable, but I also don't like Johnny Cash. So. Okay. Um, Janis Joplin's cover of Me and Bobby McGee by Chris Christopherson. I think actually somewhere Chris Christopherson says it's like better. Uh, okay, perhaps. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure in some article somewhere like Chris Christopherson said like, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who else? Um, the Carpenters cover of Close to You first recorded by Richard Chamberlain. I mean, shit, I like everything the Carpenters do, so. Yeah. It's, I mean, Karen Carpenter is... Yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to argue with that. Is a genius. Uh, the Fuji's cover of Kill Me Softly. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, there are a million of ooh, them out there. this one so. I actually really don't agree with. Okay. And it kind of changed my mind about this list. Okay, Ryan which, Adams' cover of Wonderwall by Oasis. Ooh, ooh. I don't think that's... Is that the, uh, the one that's really slow? Yeah. Like, he slows it way down? Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, it's good if you're like an emo kid, depressed, like way depressed, and you're about to kill yourself. I, yeah, I sure. mean, I guess if I was gonna slit my wrists, I probably wouldn't do it to that, but maybe. Yeah, the the Oasis one, a little more uplifting, I would yeah. say. Is it is it a happy song? I'm trying to still trying to figure that out. Uh, yeah, you're my Wonderwall. Like I love you. Yeah. That, like you're my Wonderwall. Yeah. Does that mean uh, like, Bruce you're Springsteen's awesome? cover of "Because the Night" first recorded by Patti Smith. I oh come on! I, Jimi Hendrix cover of "All Along the Watchtower" and, and, by Bob Dylan, and they don't throw the Natalie Merchant version in no. there, which is superior to both. I, I think. I also would say um, Bear McCreary for "Battlestar Galactica" right. did a kick-ass version of "All Along the Watchtower," and I actually would say I like that one better yeah. than Jimi Hendrix. I mean, so. again, it's all relative, but um, I mean, good is gr- good is good, and great is great. Uh, this one's a good one. Number one, Whitney Houston's cover of I Will Always Love You by oh, Dolly Parton. Yeah. I mean, oh, Whitney God. Houston did it better. Uh, that game set match. We can end our argument like, right there. Whitney Houston did it better. So, yeah. like, I, I'm sorry. Like, just because somebody else wrote it doesn't take exactly. away that it's better. No, agreed. Uh, so, my boyfriend's agreed. crazy. I, I, I we, we literally got into a huge argument. It ruined our entire night at the boardwalk. Like, we fought the entire <laughs> time. Um, All right. Well, I mean, he's he is a bona fide musician, a professional musician. And I'm sure he had valid points. Just I'm, me as a layman, I don't... But, like, I mean, him as a musician, too. I would like to think, you know... I mean, his band has covered songs before. Right. I would... Obviously, like, you know... I don't think that he thinks any of the covers that they've done have been better than the original. Okay. Although, a few of them... I mean, I like their version sure. more. Well, you're biased, so, but... So, like... But, I mean, I would like to think that as a musician, he would think that what he's doing is as good as the original. Right. So, I'm like, you're kind of selling a cover short... If you think that it can never uh, be better than the original, I think a lot of times you just do covers for fun. Like you don't expect to touch the the uh, the original. That's I think that's um I think that's valid. But so of course everyone um, started commenting on this thread that I started about movies, right? Um, because you know people are people. All right, are we going to delve into movies? Do we, you want to delve could, into movies? We can delve into movies. Okay. Um, so uh, it's very, it, I, in my opinion, it's very rare where the where the where a remake is better well, than the original. Somebody brought up um, the remake of The Fly, and I feel like a lot of those like really terrible D list movies, like it's not really the fly hard. Isn't really a D-list no no no. Movie. Well, not the the remake. Okay, sure. So like you know, I feel like a lot of those D list like monster movies. Right. You know, you put somebody like Jeff Goldblum in there, sure. like, of course it's going to be better. Right. You know, like, that's, that's you know, taking shit and making it gold, yeah, yeah. you know. I, I, that, this is an argument that could go on and on, though. Uh, I, you know, Ocean's Eleven, I think. Well, that was, the somebody brought that up, sure, and um, sure. and the, the remake is way better than the Sinatra version. Right. Uh, Zachary Keller, one of our listeners, says, Blasphemy, um, without the coolest of the Rat Pack, we don't see that movie. Sure. Um, no, I agree with that, but that doesn't that, mean you but, can't make it better. But, yeah, he brought up um, my friend Tim, who was kind commenting on this. The Rat Pack was cool, but I like the remake better mostly because of the break and the original part of their plan was for some of the crew to sing to drown out the noise. Right. You know, as, as like cool as that is, yeah. um, completely not realistic. Their like bank robbery was like way cooler. Right. Um, and um, I think uh, actually uh, uh, Brian Johnson, our very own Brian Johnson, brought up a valid point. He's like, listen, just because you remake something doesn't take away from the original. The original is still there. If you like it better, great. If uh, you know, because there, there are people, um, you know, railing against whatever they're remaking. It's like, why? Why are you doing this? You're ruining yeah. the original. It's like, no, you're really not. The original is still there. It's you know, whether you like the remake or not. My ex-boyfriend no actually bearing. commented saying, "A little help from my friends by uh, Joe Cocker was better." Wait, your boyfriend? 
your ex ex boyfriend. Oh, ex boyfriend. Yeah, ex boyfriend. Um, I would, yeah, I would say that as well. No um, doubt. No doubt. And then a few people started commenting as to whether a sequel could be better than the first one. Oh, I absolutely. Was like, I was like, this has just gotten completely yeah, yeah, yeah. out, of, out that, of control. That's like it was way out of control. off topic. Yeah, so. these are people who like to hear themselves argue now. So, yeah. um, but speaking of remakes, okay. did you see the picture uh, that they posted of the new Ghostbusters? I did. Of course I did. What did you think? I thought it, listen. You thought I it was, was lacking a penis, didn't I, you? No, not at all, because there are, in fact, men in there. I don't know if there are, I don't believe there are any male Ghostbusters, but I, I was born in, I was, uh, I was around in 1984. I did not see Ghostbusters in the theater, but I saw it later, and, um, oh, hello, uh, we're doing a podcast. We're doing a, a podcast here. I figured, yes, I, I figured, uh, you know, this is, as in, uh, we record it. Uh, we record it, it goes up online, and people download it. We have like an audience. Okay, so like me and like bingo players and my, uh, my favorite group? So uh, yes, something like that. Really? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. Funny. Yeah, and why not do it at my favorite place with beer? And I don't have one in front of me with giant pretzels and, uh, and, my, you know, and my best friend here. You know, why not? I was just like watching, trying to figure out like what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, we just like to hear ourselves talk. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So wait, where does the music come into play? Uh, no music. We just talk. It's actually just talking. We're having a conversation. And what is this? This is. Uh, you know, you've heard of podcasts. You've heard of uh, downloadable radio shows, basically. Okay. That's what this is. It's like a radio show, but uh, you know, I like to do it outside. I like to be in my nature. The 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 Asbury nature. Park, the Asbury Festival, and Beer Garden is like my second home, my friend. And that's why we're here. I get you, but yes. uh, I'm trying to get into where this, uh, you know. Like so it goes up. It, it goes up. Uh, oh, fun! Oh, yeah. God. Who? Um. Now, as a, yeah, we're talking about movies and music right now, who doesn't like to talk about things movies that and they music? Love. And we, know, talk we, about talk about things beer, we love. And we talk about life. Really? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. How about talk about Trinidad? I don't Trinidad? Know. I don't know much about Trinidad, really? but you should start a podcast about Trinidad. And Shit, I'm just saying, you know, it's the most fucking amazing island. That's fucking that's what I keep hearing. We're trying to get there. Really? Trying. But well, hey, you know, like, you know, all you gotta do is all that, that plane ticket. Yeah, know? I know. <laughs> Easier said than done. Exactly. Easier said than exactly. done. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, but like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like yeah. Right on, man. It is. Good to meet you. What's your name? My name is Shah. 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 Yeah, I'm like with my friend. We actually came on, we came over to Asbury Park to yeah. see a soldier play over at the Stone Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, so nice. on our way here, we was like, hey, you know, just stop, you know, check out this joint, whatever, you know. Uh, this is probably the, you, put, you chose wisely. It's yeah, probably you, the coolest, you, one of the yeah, coolest Yeah, definitely one of the better Park. places in Asbury to be choosing. Yeah. yeah. So wait, so how can you guys just set up over here, you know? Uh, we, usually, we usually have a, uh, a space we record in, yeah. uh, but we decided to do it here today, you know, just switch it up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You, you guys chose a nice place. We did. Yeah. It's we did. It's this is my not favorite. terrible. It's, it's not, not bad at all. Or not one of my favorite places. So wait, what's your name? My name is Ming. Name? Ming, yes. Sam. This is Sam. Sam? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Shah. Man, what's the nationality? I'm Chinese. Chinese? Yes, no, sir. I have a lot of Asian friends. You know? Yeah. From, uh, Ch from China, Korea, yes. Vietnam. Uh, our food is good. Yeah. Our, we're very loyal. <laughs> yeah. And, Yo, um, listen, can I tell you something? I'm absolutely. Starbucks. Really? Yeah. Food. Love in the job. Food. If you want, if you call me right now, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. For Just sure. Like Same here. Magic. Same here. She wants to bury a body. Bam. I'm there. I'll help her really? out. Yep. Yo. Magic. Yes. Right so for, I, have a few, I have a few bodies we can bury. That's, that's what friends are for. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Got a few. Amazing yes, for sure. Guy, but, yeah. Uh, say hi, Shaw. This is uh. Oh my God. also on video as well. I'm really fucking qualified. No, you well, look no. good. You look good, my friend. Really? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Right on. All right. You're a great representative. Good to see you. Absolutely. Great to meet you, my friend. All right, man. Have, have a great time. Have a great time at the pony. All right. I love that we're attracting attention, Sam. I was, I was gonna say, we, uh, yeah. 
Well, a lot of people have been passing around. It's like, what do you? What the hell are you guys doing? It's true. Yeah, I mean, like podcasting hasn't hit the mainstream yet. So, it's true. So people so, kind of really. Yeah, they're know, taken aback. It's like, know. what is it? Whoa, is this live? Is this what? going on on the air? Snooze. Yeah, pretty much. Did, did somebody get eaten by a shark? Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, so you saw the picture of Ghostbusters? I did. Getting back before uh, shop. From I did. No, I saw the photo. Uh, all, um, the the hook, the premises. It's an all female Ghostbusters crew, which uh, you know, I you know, I love females i love female empowerment i love strong women and um I, I was all for this when it was announced but i you know i i i was around 84 i saw the movie not in theaters i saw it a little bit later i'm a kid of the 80s saw it when it was first like when it first blew up and i you know i who doesn't love the original cast bill murray dan Aykroyd, Harold ramis and uh ernie hudson and so as someone who grew up and saw it in that era all i wanted them to do was to see those guys come back well, Harold Ramis can't. No, but well, here's the thing: they had a window to make a Ghostbusters three, and you know whether it was the interpersonal fighting, and you know there are a lot of personal issues and personal factors why that didn't happen. They kind of missed their window, and Harold Ramis is dead. They can't bring him back. And I had heard rumors about a Ghostbusters three with uh, like a younger crew, Chris Farley, and you know guys of that, you know, uh, comedic geniuses, which I, I would have loved to have seen. And yeah, I I want to you know person I want to see the original guys come back. I want to see the well, original guys come back. Apparently, Bill Murray is making a cameo. Okay, I don't want to see a cameo. I want to see him come back and be Venkman. Um, and so, that you know, does that mean that this won't be good? No. But I, I saw the photo and it kind of looked like a bad SNL skit. Like they didn't look happy in it. So that was like the happy. first thing. Like for for the first picture release, like I thought that like their faces, oh, everyone's friends. I yeah. thought like. For their faces to be like so miserable like sure. it kind of like replicated the way everyone felt about the movie because right. i mean like most people agree with you yes um most people you know they they want the original yeah i mean like i'm like heartbroken still about harold ramus because like Absolutely. out of everybody like i had a crush on harold ramus sure. i was like that geeky Egon. girl that loves like you know molds and spores yes um you know, do I now that Harold Ramis is dead? Like, yes. do I necessarily want to see another Ghostbusters? No, because I'm a Harold Ramis girl. Like, you know, like when he died, it died with him. Sure. Will I see it? Yeah, because it's pop culture. Yeah. It's something you know I appreciated as a kid. Yeah. Um, my mother had this comment though the other day because okay. we, we were watching. Um, they're doing Vacation. Yes. They're making a remake. I of saw it. the trailer. Um, and she she said she goes, "What do you think about that?" And I said. Well, I'm generally against it because I'm a product of watching the first one. Yes. And I mean, Vacation wasn't even my time. That was like my parents, you know, they loved that movie. Sure. Um, and I kind of loved it because of them. But, you know, I feel like nowadays, like there are kids that don't watch movies that are older. Okay. You know, sure. like they, they want like, you know, the newest thing coming out. Sure. So, you know, there's this great movie, The Ghostbusters, that might be escaping kids. <laughs> and I don't the way so. I'm looking they... at it is that maybe this movie will get those kids into it. Sure. And so, you know, you got to kind of keep remaking it to get people into it. But it's going to somehow prolong the four guys that started it life. As uh, that's, a, that's a good point. You know, that, I mean, that, yes. like that's you're going to see the remake. You're going to hear about the original, you know, talk about 50 years down the line, you know, are kids going to know what Ghostbusters are? No. You know, maybe uh, no, not. I think I think they will. I mean, okay. You know, maybe, will. maybe not. You know, you never I, know what's going to happen. No and, you know, you, you want them to be able to find a way to find these things. Right. You know, the original Vacation, great sure. movie. Yes. If it takes some shitty remake to get the kids into it, then I'm not necessarily opposed I, to I it. I think Ghostbusters is timeless. Uh, you know, there are a couple of the CG effects that date it a little bit but I mean they're, they're, they're so inconsequential that they don't even matter so can't we just like you know make one with all the old guys and just like CGI Harold Ramis into uh, it n now there would be another outcry you know see, uh, you're ruining his memory you're desecrating him that's fine yeah I just want to see Harold Ramis in more movies now I, I heard that the proton packs for like pink or pinkish I didn't look that close that's to like the photo that's like pink jerseys like and that's as bad as yeah. pink jerseys and I heard you know there were hearts on them and I'm like you don't okay now that can't be true I don't believe that any one of those girls would have hearts on their proton that's packs that's what I heard no, that's what I heard I, I may be wrong I, I hopefully I'm wrong I disagree with that no I mean what, were, what was wrong with the original proton packs and the you know yeah 
What yeah. was wrong with Harold Ramis? And, and, you know, the original idea for the Ghostbusters was they would start this cruise at Bus Goes, and then they were going to franchise it. So, or, you know, after the events of Ghostbusters 1 and 2, of course, they would go and train other crews of Ghostbusters, use their technology, there would be a licensing fee, a franchise fee, and they would be all over because ghosts are, in fact, all over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... I yeah I mean um, I'm I'm torn. I hope they didn't dumb it down with the pink proton packs. And yeah. Hearts and flowers and, and things like that. Uh, I think the four women they cast, you know, they're bona fide <laughs> professional comedians. Yeah, I, I take all of them very seriously, and yeah. you know, um, but you know, like the vacation movie, I have really no hopes for that. Um, um I mean, based on the tra- I saw the trailer, it wasn't that great. I, I I didn't think it was that great. So. Um. So speaking of trailers, yes. uh, two very kind of not so big, kind of big trailers uh, debuted this week. Yes. Uh, Deadpool and <laughs> Suicide Squad. Did you watch them? I did. I did. Now, first of all, I need to comment. If you saw them uh, before they were posted officially online, they're like leaked, leaked trailer. Yeah. They weren't leaked. They were shown at the San Diego Comic Con to a to. The, I believe the Hall Age crowd, which yeah. seats 7,000 people. Yeah. They were not leaked. Yeah. They were made publicly available. Now, the first trailers you saw were iPhone or camera phone video captures. Exactly. That people posted on YouTube. Still not leaked. That's just a crappy quality yeah, copy. Yeah, that's just like, hey, I'm one of the first people to post what they haven't posted yet. Yeah. And I, and I, I had read that uh, the studios were angry at these leaked trailers. Like, I was like, dumbasses. You should have just put them officially online 10 minutes after you showed them at the Comic-Con, like everybody else did. Yeah. You know, um, Batman, Superman. Um, right. you know, I, I mean, they're not like Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. All, all of those. The Star Wars making of trailer. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, why they balked, why they waited, I don't know. Bad marketing. Bad marketing. So, but, so which, but, one, which one do you want to talk about first? With that in mind, let's talk about Deadpool. Let's let's go. Let's let's start at the top first. Okay. Or you may di- your opinion may differ. <laughs> Deadpool, I, the wise. I don't, I don't necessarily think either one is on top. So Deadpool, let's just the Merc with the mouth. The Merc uh, with one the mouth. Of, uh, arguably the most popular comic book character uh, to come within recent history. Uh, he may Are be. You, yes. He may be the new Batman. In terms I of go that popularity. Far. I wouldn't go that far. I, I mean, you know, I, um, uh, based on cos- like, no, no, no. Actually, I'm. I definitely wouldn't go that based far. Based on you cos- should be shot for saying that Hold anybody on. can. No, 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 no. You I'm should not, be, you not should comparing be sh- him. I'm saying the new Batman, as in someone who's soap, who's going to take over, uh, like Batman did in 1989. I think Deadpool. When that movie comes out, I think. Uh, I, think I, that, hit, I, I think it's hit. I think it's hit already. If that's anything like the trailer, I think that movie's going to be terrible. I, I fucking think you're hated wrong. the I trailer. Think, all right. Well, the trailer was just. Cluttered, with, like it was just all over the place. The like, character is all over I, the place. He's a, I know, he's but a, like that doesn't maniac. mean the movie has to be. Like the character I, has the, to be. The that movie should follow no, the character. No, no, I agree that the movie should follow the character, okay. but the movie doesn't have to look like it has like no fucking point whatsoever. Like there should be like a point uh, and a plot Deadpool, to this movie. Deadpool is a man who doesn't need a point yeah, and but, follows no but, plot. But like, okay, what is he's, Deadpool? He's a hired assassin. Okay, that's what the movie is. That's the plot. A hired assassin. Uh, he is not the, simply the, a hired assassin. The, the, the fucking the fucking trailer was like. He's the like I, I felt like no matter how many times I watched it, like I was just gonna. How many times what? did you watch it? Like three or four, and okay. I was just like, what? What if just fucking it, happened? You hated so much. Why'd you watch it? Because I was trying to make times. sense of it. It was just everywhere. There was like explosions. And there was bullets. Is and there was cursing. And I mean, everyone, everyone is like up in arms about the cursing. I was like, that was like the only good thing no, about it. No, the cursing is his character. Yeah, the that's cursing, like that's the true to form the, character. Uh, the inappropriateness is part of his character. Exactly. Uh, I don't I know com- how I feel about Ryan Reynolds doing the role. Oh though. God, he's. Pr- I think he's great. I, I think he's perfect. I think he's perfect. I, I think the I movie. Mean, like, I get. I, I get the comic relief of Deadpool yes. and Ryan Reynolds, but like at the same time, like when I look at Ryan Reynolds, I think of like a cuddly teddy bear, not like a fucking trained assassin. I, I think when that movie comes out, not only are you going to love it, it's going to make a lot of money. Like the, of these two things, I'm almost positive. I mean, I was the person that said Guardians of the Galaxy was going to be really right. bad. So. Um, yeah, you're a you're um you're a doubting Thomas. You really for sure. you really can't trust me with anything you're I say. You're a doubting but like, Thomas. That that trailer was bad. That didn't that make me. That trailer was awesome. That trailer did trailer, not make me want to watch that movie great. at all. I think all. the trailer captured the tone of Deadpool correctly, uh, assuaged any fears I have of them not making it correctly. Um, I, I I was just like. And and not only that, uh, you know, based on that leaked trailer, I saw 
crowd went nuts. The crowd was oh, bananas. The, yeah, the crowd went nuts. I mean, everybody's been waiting for a rated R Deadpool movie. Yeah, they don't are, care about the actual well, movie. These are hardcore fans who have been waiting yeah, for this movie for but, years. But you got to understand, these people don't care about the actual movie. Of course Everyone they do. is just really fucking They're, stoked that are, this movie is getting oh, an no, R rating. I, I, no, I disagree. I think these are hardcore comic book fans who have been waiting for a movie. They're waiting for that one opening to... to that one was like, oh man, that, they should have done that. That sucks, and they were going nuts over this trailer. I think, I think, uh, I, I think, um, I think this movie is is made for them. And it, it, based on the trailer, mind you, I haven't seen the finished product. That they have hit all the good points. I think the mo- I think they're going. I think if you're a Deadpool fan, you're going to be. They can I mean, you can't screw. You can't screw this up. There would be such an outcry. It'd be riots. People could die if you what, screwed it what, up. What do you mean you can't screw up Deadpool? Did you, you not see X Men? X Men was great. Which X Men? I mean, the, wasn't there a Deadpool in X Men? Uh, the, uh, there was. Yeah. There was. Well, sure, very briefly, but yes. Yeah. Was, was wasn't he fucking terrible? No, I didn't think he was terrible at all. Not at all. And I feel like he was a wasted character. And in not that only movie. that, I think what Fox has done with the X, Fox is you know uh, 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 X Three excluded. Fox has done a great job with the X Men franchise. Uh, Days of Future Past was amazing. You know, first but, Class but see, is amazing. You, you can't X1 exclude and X2 X3. Are amazing. Well, I mean, listen. now it all falls into two with uh, Days of Future uh, okay. Past. Sure, which was amazing. Agreed. Did you like Days of Future? Come on. I mean, yeah. Okay. But <laughs> you still got to look at them as a whole now, because now they are a whole. I, 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 I mean, that's like saying every Beatles song is great. That's not true. I, I think we we most, already covered that. Most, I know most of them are great. They have a few stinkers in there. I'm not going to name which ones, but <laughs> they have a few stinkers. That's all I'm saying. So uh, I am if if we're doing a Roger and Ebra, I say two thumbs up on the Deadpool trailer. Oh God, I hated it. Yes, you say two thumbs down. Okay, fair no, enough. No, I'd say like. I don't one know. One thumb down, one, don't one thumb like shaking. I don't know where it wants I to go. I honestly don't know how they could have made it better. I, I just, I, I think don't. it needed a little like focus. Okay. And less like fucking. The, but the, I won't give it two whole... thumbs down. I won't give it two thumbs down. I guess one thumb down, one thumb okay. kind of okay, shaky. Neutral. Because okay, fair enough. the trailer that really got two thumbs down was Suicide Squad. Uh, I will, um, I will, I, I will agree with you on that. God, no. I've never been more disappointed by. It. This is why I don't watch trailers, by the way. Okay. Because I don't want to look forward to things. Sure. Thankfully, in both of these cases, I'm neither looking forward to neither movie. Right. Um, Suicide Squad. I actually might plan a vacation out of the country on its release date. <laughs> like that's how bad. Yeah, right. that you won't even was. leave your. You won't even leave your hometown. Like you, know, you won't leave New Jersey. You're that, gonna go out of the that's country. That's how bad that fucking trailer was. Okay. No, I, I'll go with a wait and see on this. But based on the trailer, it looks like. Um, here's here's what it looked like to me. It looked a little bit like a fan film. <laughs> okay, is that a good analogy? Yes. And like it also looked analogy. like uh, the filmmakers went out on Twitter. Uh, maybe took a poll of what they thought was cool, and then put it in the movie. It's like you know we want we want Jared Leto's Joker to be more emo, and uh, you know have tattoos and you know. I mean, the first picture of him that they posted, I didn't hate it. Okay. Like I I think that you know they took Joker and put him in like a modern prison society. Sure. So which, like, which, you, okay, which is like, okay. So I didn't hate it when everyone else was like, you know, going crazy about like, oh my God, he's so emo. I was like, you know what? I don't hate it. Okay. And I actually still think despite the really shitty trailer for this movie, yes. that Jared Leto is a fantastic actor. Okay. And Jared Leto can do fucking psycho. Okay. And I think that he will be a good, a decent Joker? Slightly okay Joker. Okay. I mean, like, uh, we're talking, like, the problem with playing the Joker right. is the bar is set so ridiculously sure. fucking high sure. right sure. now that, like, okay, so I didn't like Jack Nicholson as okay. Joker, okay. but I respected the fact that he set the bar to a certain place. Right. Disagree with me as you might. I think Heath Ledger took that bar and just fucking shattered it. Oh, yeah, he threw it and, up in the air and it and, stuck there. You know, and I think that sure. you also have to take into consideration okay. the Joker in the video game franchise. Okay. Mark Hamill. Sure. Great. Even though you can't see his voice no. or see his face. Yeah, the voice. The voice. The voice. On par with Heath oh. Ledger's face. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, he so did a great I, job. I would say that the Joker right now has two very high bars set. Yes. I don't think Jared Leto could reach either one of them. Okay. 
I do think he could be okay. Right. I think that that trailer was terrible, though. I think, like, halfway through the, tra- the trailer, I was bored. Another I, one that I was confused I, I about. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, um, sure. I, I sure just thought that, it was, like, uh, stupid. They had, like, sure. Harley Quinn in a cage. Right. Um, you know, and I also kind of thought that they were going to go a different direction. Like, okay. I didn't think the Joker was going to, like, be the whole movie. Like, I thought the Joker was going to kind of appear at the end. No. Oh, God. That would be awful. Who would go see that? You got to um, put the Joker. You got to feature the Joker up in front. Well, no. Right I mean, like, front. I kind of figured, like, the Joker was going to be there. But, like, I kind of figured, like, Harley Quinn was going to start as, like, a normal person. Like, a doctor. Like, she is. And then maybe get turned. Like, I kind of had a I, whole I, uh, different You know that whole plot. railing about, like, we don't need to see the origin story story anymore that's exactly what we don't need to see we I, I kind of anybody that, like, going to see this movie one. knows how that she became how dr harleen quinzel becomes harley quinn we all know that we don't need to see that i agree it I takes up thought valuable everyone, time i thought she could everyone put i thought she was gonna be like not the good guy yeah. throughout the movie but i kind of thought she was gonna be normal and then throughout the course of the movie she was gonna be the change okay um I don't even know what to say about her character. Like, her, like, little solitary jail cell while yeah. she's doing, like, trapeze yoga. Sure. Like, okay. uh, aerial yoga, yeah. yeah. Like, what okay. the fuck was that? And then, right. like, Will Smith, I don't know what I got with him going on. Like, uh, Will Smith's he's, he's dead playing, shot. He's playing himself. It looked, that's what it looked like. You yes. know, like, I kind of. Uh, <laughs> wiki, 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 wild, yeah, wild west. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, he's pretty much playing the guy from Independence Day. Done. Right, um, whereas he should be playing Deadshot. Actually, okay. I, I thought he was kind of playing Hancock a little bit, too. Hancock, like, I got, like, a okay. really heavy Hancock sure, in there. Sure, sure. Um, that sounded dirty. Um, but, yeah, no, there, if, if there was one thing that I wanted to turn off this week, right. halfway through I wanted to end that trailer. Okay. It was, well, you could have just hit stop on your web browser. It was funny because browser. everyone told me not to watch you it. You could have just put, hit They're stop like, on your web browser. That's all I'm saying. Don't even watch that trailer. And all right, like, that's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to do it. You could have just hit stop. That's all I'm saying. I wanted to see Jared Leto. I, uh, okay. You know what's funny about the Joker, too? Uh, is. The second teaser trailer yes. for, uh, I think it was The Dark Knight, okay. when it was, you just get a symbol of the bat symbol, like, crumbling. Sure. And you get um, Alfred telling that story about the jewel thief. Yes. And at the end, he stops with these. Sometimes, you know, some people just want to watch the world crumble. Right. For the last five seconds, not even of the trailer, you just heard Heath Ledger laughing. Yes. That was a better Joker than Jared Leto. Well, you don't know that yet. You haven't seen no, the movie. No, I do. And, you know, I watched the panel leading up to the trailer, and the director, David Ayer, came out and... Apologized. He did not apologize. He's like, listen... <laughs> he shut up. We were having a great time making this movie. We were making this movie for you, the fans, and we were doing everything right. So, listen, it's hard to judge anything by the trailer. We've seen great trailers for crappy movies. We've that's, seen crappy trailers for great that's movies. That's true. And hopefully this is the latter. I mean, I, mean, I didn't hate it as much as everybody else. And we, we got to shine a Batman in there, which was cool. He was on the roof of a car. That was Batman. I, I, I know mean, who it was. And, you know... For me, did I, I ever it wasn't did, did I ever think that I would see a Suicide Squad movie? No. So let's you know let's enjoy it for that fact, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Now. All right. So um, I just got a text from my wife. Uh, I have something to bring up. Um, she listened to like last week's episode. Uh, she's demanding a retraction from you, Sam Q. From what? Um, last week we talked about uh, July Fourth. Went to see some fireworks. Ran it wasn't your kid that was naked? No, it was not my kid that was naked. Uh, she's very upset about this. Thinks, uh, you know, someday this may come back to haunt him. <laughs> and she's demanding rejection. Now, one, my son is seven years old. Um, he will He's not go cutie. into an ocean without anything covering his body. There was a naked the child there. It was not my son. That it wasn't your son? Yes. Are you retracting this? I'm retracting. Well, I I'll thought you a couple, it was your son. I'll t- say a couple reasons. One, he will not go in the ocean without anything on his top, meaning a shirt, a rash guard. Or anything. He'd be mortified be, to be naked, first of all. And two, I'm not even clear that you even know what my son looks like. I've met your son. I know, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't I know what I your son looks up, like in the dark. I bet I could line up three photos and you wouldn't I know be able exactly to pick. what your son looks like. Next week. He's, I'm gonna the, he's the only one that you post photos of. Sure. But that, still, I, you know, that's still from afar. Well, there was definitely a naked child. It probably it was wasn't not your my kid. Son. It was not my son. It my, wasn't uh, your kid my, then. My, 
Okay. But there was definitely somebody's okay. naked child. All right, she just wanted a retraction on that. <laughs> there was not definitely my son. somebody's naked child. You know, one, it was not my son. Two, he will not go in the ocean without being covered top. Not Your child shouldn't even be going in the ocean at all. Why? There's Why like not? fucking sharks out there. A, there's, a, there's a whale out there's, there. There's sharks. There's a beluga whale out there. There are no sharks. No, my friends were. Uh, were was it Amity Island? No, my, no my friends were fishing in, okay. uh, in fucking like Belmar the other day. Okay, and they Belmar saw. Belmar Point Pleasant. They no. saw a shark? No, they pulled one up on fucking shore. It was like a six. Your friends caught a shark? Yes. A sick what? Is it a great white? No, it was like a little tiger shark. Okay. That's and swimming how, out there. It's got fucking teeth. That, do they eat people? Uh, all sharks eat people. I okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Did you see the movie Jaws? I did. That was a movie, my friend. Yeah, I said, didn't you see the movie Jaws? That was a movie. It was based on real events. Okay, and number three, you'd been drinking. I'm just saying. I'm just oh, about your naked child? No, be, yeah, that that you had been drinking. <laughs> I had as a glass of wine. Right. I'm just saying you had been drinking, correct? You know, yeah. your judgment may have been impaired. Hey, I said last week, I didn't know if it was your kid. You thought it was your kid. I No, I didn't say I'm it, just no. saying, there was there was a, a naked child running around. It was not my son. That's and it all wasn't I'm your son. It was not my son. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, that's all, that's all I'm saying. Tell Zabby I would never question her parenting skills. She's pretty much raising those children as a single yes. mother. All right. I mean, like, she deserves a fucking award. Uh, oh, I, I, she deserves an award every day. And she every should chop hour. off your goddamn legs and chain you at home. I listen. I'm not like the guy who stays at home. I obviously I'm not that guy who stays at home <laughs> all that much. So. I like the way you said that with a straight obviously. face first, and then you like reeled back and you were like, "Wait, I'm gonna laugh obviously. about this." Yeah. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, what are you doing August first? It was a Saturday. It's about two and a half weeks. Do you have uh, you have any plans August first? Um. Well, I think I'm celebrating somebody's birthday. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, this place that we're here currently, do you like it? Do you think, uh, could you I, hang I, out I here? like an Ocean Grove beach house more, but I uh, clearly am not yeah. getting that. Well, we may end up there, but I think I'm going to do my birthday up here. Okay. So, Are you going to, like, um, rent out the whole top? Well, I can't exactly do that on a Saturday night, but I think I may be able to what? get a couple of tables I was reserved. I say, what, you got, like, comic book money. I, I, <laughs> that comic book money ain't that much, my friend. You'd be shocked at how much that might be. So what do you want for your birthday? I just want your presents. I want you to show no, up. I, I have to give you presents, like literally presents. Okay. Like presents, physical. What do you want? You don't want to know what I want. So I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> if I were Debbie, I, I'd want to retract you for that statement. I don't know. I, I just want you to show up. Bring your bring your friends. Bring your boyfriend. Uh, you know, bring some hotties. You know, what you know, do whatever. Whatever. Who's gonna be there? Who's gonna? Uh, all our friends and fam. All our closest and nearest and dearest. Production crew. Yes. Abs- oh, absolutely. They're the yes. Our Gongwen production crew is. Uh, if you look over that away, they're literally right over there. So, so, so why haven't we called them to come join us? They are. They're no. They're on their way. That's the real question. They're on their way. You know that I'm leaving after this glass of wine. I so drink slow then. I or I, I might have to refill it. That's the same glass. Does that count? Does that count? I think so. So I'm just gonna try and go for a run I, tonight. I think I'm gonna do a blowout up here though. What do you think? I would like that actually. Yeah, I think, that'd be really I think nice. uh, you know, give you a little look around. I mean, this is a whole rooftop patio at a beer garden. It's pretty Can we dope. get fireworks? Uh, yeah, maybe if we turn around here. Uh, that's the whole. Look at that bar back here. I want pretty, like uh, I want like a barge on this little lake over here, and I want like a big fireworks spectacular. I comic don't book men money have the budget for that. No, even and even if I did. So why can't they like film it as part of the show? My birthday? Yeah. Up here and do like. A big firework blowout on the production crew's... And, but what's the story behind that? That is my birthday. is so boring. Everyone has a birthday. I don't know. We'll bake strippers into a cake. Strippers? Strippers. And a cake. In a cake. Okay. Well, I mean, that's been, like a good story. You've been pushing for this for a while. Strippers in a cake? Yes. Yeah. 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 You know. And, um, yeah, and then, uh, you know... So uh, we've just finished the first week of Comic Book Man. Speaking of Comic Book Man. Yes, I was going to ask you, how is that going? It's been going great. Um, you know the phrase, like like riding a bicycle? It, that's 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 exactly... It's like you just kind of jump right back in. Yeah. And really, what are we? what exactly are we doing? We sit there and we talk about pop culture and make fun of each other. It's not the, uh, it's not the hardest thing in the world. We're very blessed that we get to... We get to do this. That's all I'm saying. And, oh, and speaking of birthdays, look at, look at what's going on here. Look at what's going on here. That's not for me. But is that a birthday let's slider? follow the action here. Somebody's having also having is that a like birthday, a birthday up here. Slider? 
It is a birthday. Uh, no, it's a birthday cupcake. Oh, it looks like birthday a little cupcake. hamburger. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, so this is what I'm thinking. Uh, all my nearest and dearest friends up here drinking beer, talking, giant German pretzels. And instead of a cake, I'm thinking about getting donuts from our favorite donut shop, the Broad Street Dough Company. Oh, my God. What they would think? love that. Yeah. Well, the I would love that. Yeah. That's all I need. That's amazing. Yeah. Like every, all, all my favorite things in one place. That includes you, Sam Q. And your boyfriend that. and all our friends and all that. Yeah, let's. And the production uh, crew. And the production crew from Comic Book Band Season 5. <laughs> yes. It'll, uh, I think it'll be fun. All right, well, I'm going to send out the invites then. I I'm going to do, do it. it. I'm going to do it. Before we go, how's your mom? How's your family? How's your sister? Um, so we are, uh, today is officially 38 weeks. For your sister? Mm hmm. And how many weeks are there in a birth? Nine 40. months? Really? Two weeks? Yeah. So you're on baby watch. Yeah, we're on baby watch. No Actually, way. the baby should have. Um, I did give her uh, the the picture. No, what happened? So okay. How'd it go? So, it so let me like preface this okay. by saying that like right now, me and my family. Um, well, my my sister and my okay. family are in like this all out fucking civil war because my parents. Oh, is it like, like Captain America? Like, like civil war? Like the Avengers? Yeah, but like uglier. Like my uglier my parents than, like, like won't call my sister because they think she's a bitch and she's ungrateful, which is one hundred percent true. Okay. And my sister won't call my parents because she thinks that they're different difficult and closed-minded okay. which is also 100 okay. percent true but when your mother has cancer and your daughter has a baby yeah you gotta kind of come gotta to an give. agreement yeah or um, both of you have to give exactly which nobody's giving and i take my parents side like shit my father buys me nice things so um my sister is on baby watch okay. any day now okay she's been trying to eat a lot of spicy foods to get the little sucker that out that doesn't work but okay yeah i know um, so I went over there the other day and I brought her, uh, her gift Okay. and I brought it with four like little, like uh, onesie sets. Yeah. The, uh, the gift being, uh, I went to a, a con a couple weeks ago, got a autograph photo of Henry Ian Desmond who played, or Henry Ian Cusack. Who played Desmond. Desmond. on Lost and your sister is going around. She loves Lost. Yeah. And it was personalized to Ryan, Tina and Griffin, yes. uh, which is the baby's okay. name. Um, so, uh, she loved it. I went over there with the uh, the onesies, and I was right. like, so you I brought you this, like, epic gift. So I show her, like, the first two onesies. You, you wrapped it. No, no, the, I didn't oh, wrap oh, it. I just, okay. I, like, walked in with okay. it. It was behind my back. Okay. So I showed her the first one. She's like, oh, that's cute. And I yeah. showed her the second one. The second one was literally, like, a football. It was, like, a little baby football. Okay. All right. Um, if, like, with a bib. Right. Um, so when football season starts, you can dress the kid like a little football. What team? Oh, Cowboys. football. Oh, oh. Um, her, too? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. And her husband. Um, so, uh, so then there was one that, that was a, had little sailboats on right. it. And I said, this was kind of like a not Penny's boat theme. And I kind of looked at her and she kind of okay. looks at me like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, like what, got, what the hell do you it's mean? It's got little boats Did on it. Did you get me a Dharma onesie so, or something? So then I pull out another one. Yes. And I was like, and it was uh, another sailboat one. So yes. I was like, this is kind of going with a not Penny's boat theme. Okay. And she goes, okay. I was like, so what do you think of your epic gift? And she goes, Oh, I, I, I like like what you got she me. And I lying. said, I said, oh yeah. Well, I haven't given you the epic gift yet. So I handed her the picture, and yeah. she sat there and like stared at it for a minute, like she didn't understand it. Right. And then she's like, wait, how did you get this? <laughs> and I said, I um, got my sources. I was like, well, this has actually been in the works for like quite some time sure. now. Um, I was like, it was just kind of waiting to see when Ming could get it. Yes. And she was like, wait how did you get this? <laughs> so I was like, well, Ming goes to these cons all over the right. place. I was like, and, you know, at, at a few of them, he was supposed to be there and he didn't show up yeah. for one. And, and then, you know, blah, then blah, he blah. showed up. You know, and I was like, and, and you, you know, know we're buddy, buddy. He showed up and, yeah. and Ming was able to, uh, to kind of corner him and he told him your story. Corner? I did not corner him. Went up to his table. Showed him, you know, and I said, I said he, 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 told him, he told him your story, and, you know, he... he I handed him $40, as simple as that. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so, so she said thank you. She's like, oh, my God. She's like, this is... She's very happy? She's like, this is, like, way better than anything else anybody got me. Oh, you, like, you just ruined the bar then. Yeah, I, I real okay. high. All right. So, um, so I said, I was like, it's, it's from me and Ming. Yeah. And, um... I was like, we, we've been talking about this for months. She loved it. So she left it for the husband to find in the okay. house. And then she showed me their um, the nursery, which I didn't actually realize was jungle-themed because of Lost. No way. It looks like the island? Uh, yeah. So let's go into this room for a second. Okay. So the Do they have, like, cargo nets and pieces of the fuselage? No. no. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. No, and, like, Dharma. Oh, is green. it, like, the, the hatch? That'd be cool. The whole they thing's made it, like, the green. Hatch. And it's got, like, jungle animals everywhere. But sure. then they have, like, 
Dharma Initiative pillows. That's cool. I like that. I think that's And then cool. they have a picture um, of, of, like, it's from Lost. Sure. And it's all of their eyes. Like, it's their, like, faces and their right, eyes. Right, and right. it's hanging on the wall. I'm like, this kid's going to have fucking nightmares. Like, these, like, weird eyes staring at right, it. Right, okay. Um, which your picture will be hanging next to okay. it. Okay. Um, so it would be the centerpiece. All right, that's cool. So, uh, so yeah, that I was like that. that was my sister. Okay. Uh, my mother, not so well. Uh, she uh, she has to get a biopsy on her other boob because um, there's a lump there that's kind of gotten bigger. Yeah, so it's both. Uh, so yeah, it's both. so so because it's not shrinking with the hormone, it means that the lump might not be estrogen okay. positive. Right, right. Which means she's gonna have to go through chemo. So. You know, when when I was sitting in the doctor's office and we got that news, like I was kind of like floored. Like I kind of like stopped. Everything was like kind of slow motion around me. Right. So my mother actually, who's like you know, never positive about anything. You know, we got out to the car and she's like, well, I gained water weight, so you know maybe maybe it's just the extra water. Right. So I know that's probably not true. I appreciate the fact that she's being optimistic about it. Um, she has her biopsy on Friday her results next week okay um so pray for my mom pray for what's your mom's name pray for sandy um that that makes it sound like the hurricane can we just do like pray for sam's mom pray for sam's mom (laughs) yeah um so i i actually told my mom was like hey shit if you have to get chemo and shave your head i'll shave my head with you and she was like you don't have to do that would you really i would I can't imagine you with for, a shaved For head. my mother, it's funny too because she, she hates me with short hair. Right. So she's like, no, I don't want you to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you spent so long growing your beautiful hair right. out. Like, don't don't shave it off. And I was like, well, I don't want you to feel bad. So if, if it comes to that, I'll shave my head for you. Wow. Um, Would you wear wigs? You could, you could mean, be a blonde. Sometimes, maybe. You could get some cool, like, cosplay wigs. I mean, like, sometimes, but I probably would just go, like, like Nat- one, Natalie Portman style all the time. Natalie, whoa, well, hold on. Natalie Portman from The Professional? Natalie no, Portman from Star Wars. Natalie Portman when she shaved her head. Oh, her okay, okay. Like okay, I'd probably okay. just like walk around with like a shaved okay, head. Okay, I didn't know. Like, uh, all right, yeah. yeah. Like I was in prison. I did like mad time. Right. Okay. I so. mean, just one day you could be. Uh, yeah, one day you could be the prof- professional Natalie Portman. You could be. Uh, oh yeah, sure. I would Black love Swan. to like. Yeah, I would love to be like Natalie Portman. Any. Or you could go superhero one day. You could be Power Girl one day. Oh yeah, like, be Rogue like, the other I day. Do, like, pink hair. I could do like anything. Yeah. But uh, no, I did tell her that she was like, "No, you're not allowed to shave your head." Um, <laughs> yeah, like your mom can tell you what to do or anything. Exactly. But uh, so she's staying optimistic. I do have one friend who I reached out to because I know his mother is going through the same thing, and yeah. he told me he's like the same. He reached out to me when he found out my mom had cancer, and he said he was the one that told me like it's not gonna be easy yeah um so he tells me again he's like it's gonna be a struggle right and you're just gonna do it he's like you know you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night and you're gonna wake up horrified yes and you're gonna be crying a lot and he goes and you're just gonna it's do gonna it suck. because you're that's what you do well i mean that's what this pod is for you vent get it out i, I don't like know fucking, if it'll, i don't know i wish i was like smart enough to cure it Oh, I mean, because, yeah, join like, the club. I mean, yeah, like, no, everybody wishes they were smart enough to cure it's cancer, awful. but, like, uh, I just, like, what a fucking terrible thing. Like, yeah, like, it's, it's like, awful. Like, like uh, these are the things that, like, quake you in the middle of the night. Like, when you're trying to believe in, like, a higher power, you're just like, yeah. who the fuck would invent this? Like, if God it's, invented cancer, well, then he should yeah, fucking it's, it's die, all- too. <laughs> Um, you know, like well, those God are the things that, die, but yeah, right. well, those are the things that, like, keep you up at night. Like, sure. who would do this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's that's where we are now. Right. Questioning life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And my father still has to get checked for whatever his problem is. Oh, is that a story for another podcast? Yeah, Perhaps? he he needs to go get a biopsy for his oh, prostate. Oh God, him, that'd be awful. I mean, prostate cancer is not like you know the it's worst. Hor- no, the it's worst actually thing pretty bad. It's not good. Though. Well, it's not good, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. You could oh, live so with it for a very long time. Oh, so you're in the camp of the no, the, no, he's got the good cancer. Like no, there is no good. No, cancer. there's no good cancer, no. but you could live with prostate cancer for like. 10 years right. without it like really affecting you right and, i mean my father is already like 63 years old you know it's very young yeah Still young. I, I don't think my father intends to live very long with his the, stress well, levels don't, don't say that oh god shit don't he says say that. that i know he, he says, says that. it but don't you don't have to say it no yeah but uh so yeah yeah all right well we got a fun week coming up we do my boyfriend's away well, that's not why well whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> my, my, hold on hold my on. boyfriend's away so i need to be babysat <laughs> All right, and my wife and kids went to Ohio this week. 
So. Wait, your wife and kids are away? Yeah, they left today. Oh my god, so that's why you actually have time to hang out with me. I was like wondering. I was like, I don't want to yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. tread on Debbie. Like shit, no, 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 any they, free um, time they're you going, get. Uh, they're, hanging, they're going to her sister-in-law's place. Her sister-in-law actually came down for the last three days. Now they're driving back and Good they're going to be in Ohio for a while. Uh, what, do you, <laughs> what do you think of this? So they're going to swing up and see my parents in Michigan, but without me? Well, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, how long have you and Debbie been married? It'll be 13 years in August. Exactly. So, like, she knows yeah. her family. Yeah. It's just like my mom. And your my, kids probably want to see their grandparents. Yeah, it's funny. My mom, you know, she uh, she's talking to my wife. My mom was like, uh, so is Ming coming too? And my wife was like, nah, he's got to, you know, he's got to shoot the show. And and I think my wife likes her way better than she likes me. I'm yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. Kind of an asshole, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll babysit you. Well, I'm thinking Friday, Ant-Man. Perhaps we come we'll go see Ant Man. Perhaps, okay. yeah, I could dig that. Uh, get used to this place. I'm sure we'll wind up here a couple times. Shit, that's disappointing to me. But I want to go to rock climbing. Let's go rock climbing, and then uh, there's rooftop yoga here at 10 a.m. on Saturday. I do want to see my parents sometime this weekend. Okay, so. all right. I'm just saying, you know, if you get bored, I'll be here. That's what friends are for. Yeah. That's what friends are for. So stay tuned for the further adventures. Sam Q and Ming. <laughs> I'm just so happy we could freaking podcast here. Hell yeah. I think this I will not like be totally the last jazz. time. I think she's famous. This will not be the last time. So I just I just love, uh, I don't even see it on the camera. Like people were passing by like, what the hell is I going on the there? The guy like looks at me, he like smiled. He was like, oh, I'm on TV. Like, Yeah, no, you're not. you're not. You're on a like a fourth like rate a, podcast. Yeah, uh, you're, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, dude. That but, weird uh, guy from Trinidad with like the weird teeth. That's cool. He was, you know, he came over and he I was wanted, totally drunk. He wanted to know, of course. Oh, God, it's only like seven o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Yeah, it's yeah. like totally drunk. Yeah. All right, right on. Well, thank you for Jeez. listening again, everybody. Yes, and, uh, you. you know, we love switching it up. So here we are uh, again. If you're anywhere, if you come to Red Bank, definitely come down here to the Asbury Fest Hall and Beer Garden. And I uh, want to thank Jennifer Lampert for letting us podcast up here. And uh, my, my good friend, Jill Bartlett, who uh, also contributed to, uh, to this. And, uh, yeah, this is, I mean, come on. How cool is this? Who else? What? Do you see any other podcasters up here? No. Uh, no, usually uh, I don't any, see any other podcasters. Anybody though. else podcast from here? Uh, I don't know. I think pizza. our friends at Pizza Beer Revolution may have beaten us. I'm not sure. But if not, then haha, we, we, uh, we beat you guys. So, you know, you know I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, we're better than you guys. May we all podcast here together one day. Let's make that happen. Let's make that happen. All right. Well, Sam Q, thank you for joining me. Ming Chen. Thank, thank you for you. joining me. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed the wine. <laughs> yeah, my, my American wine and my yeah, German your American bar. wine. And, uh, you know, cheers to everybody out there listening. Cheers. For sure. So thank you very much. Yes. And, thank uh, you. And we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.